If your sales team is currently juggling disconnected tools and databases and spreadsheets and who knows what else, Sales Hub Starter totally has you covered. Simple and easy to use tools to help you grow your sales process. To get started, click the link in the description below and sign up for our free tools today. Then you can upgrade to Sales Hub Starter when you're ready. Here we're looking at a contact record. We have all the contact information, even information about the industry and the organization. We can also see in this top little toolbar that we can write a note, log an email, make a phone call, assign a task or log a meeting and some other activities. We can even look at an overview of the lead. Here we can see recent activities that have taken place, any associated contacts or companies or deals that we have going with this lead. Once you click activities, you can see all the activity that has occurred with this contact. We can even leave a note. I'll go ahead and save that note. I can log an email or create an email. I can make a call or log a call and you can even assign tasks. I can select when I want that task to be done, what time it's gonna be due. I can even set a reminder and give any context. I'll go ahead and create that task and you can see automatically that task is added to the queue. Let me show you how simple it is to use one of our email templates or create your own from scratch. To get started with email templates, scroll up to the top you select conversations and scroll down to templates. Here you'll be brought to a screen that gives you two major options, emails or WhatsApp messaging. I'm gonna go ahead and create new template and I have an option to create from scratch or from our template library. Let's take a look at some of the great templates that we already have for emails for your sales team out of the box. You can see we have some first touch emails and some follow-up emails. Let's go ahead and select share a helpful resource. Here we can see a quick preview of the email and some of the personalization tokens that are in this email template. I'm gonna go ahead and select save to my selections and now I can see that the share helpful resource template is in my email templates. Now I'm gonna go back to my contact and I wanna to reply to this email, I can use one of my templates. I'll select share a helpful resource. Now you can see that the email template is live. It's already updated with the customer's name and I can edit this as I see fit and take out and edit any information that I need. When I'm ready to send it, I can simply hit send and that email is out to my prospect waiting for a reply. Let me show you how HubSpot's meeting scheduler can help you automate scheduling meetings while you sleep. To get started with your custom meeting page, scroll up top to sales and down to meetings. Here you will click create scheduling page. We're gonna go ahead and select one-on-one -on -one meeting. You'll see at the top, we can give this meeting an internal name. We we'll also see we have three major tabs, the overview tab, the scheduling tab, and the automation tab. To get started, click overview. Here we can make sure that this is a one-on-one -on -one meeting. We've given it the internal name meeting with Mark. I'm the organizer, and we need to put an event title to see what this will show up on on our customer's calendar. You can even add a physical location or a video conference link here using apps like Google Meet and Zoom. Now at the bottom, we can create a quick description. My description says, hi, first name. Let's use this time to introduce ourselves, discuss our work, and explore opportunities for collaboration. Best mark. Now I'm ready to move on to the scheduling tab. Here, I get a quick preview on the right-hand side of what my scheduling page actually looks like for my customer, lead, or prospect. Make sure that you have your title. You can even select what duration of time you want this meeting to be optional for. For example, a 15, 30-minute, or a one-hour meeting. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is a 15 or a 30-minute meeting. I'm gonna go ahead and select my time zone and even set my availability for these meetings. Maybe you don't want meetings first thing in the morning. We'll go ahead and make sure these meetings start after 10 a.m. And we'd like to have our meetings wrapped up by 3.30 p.m. You even have some additional settings, such as the image that you want to see on your scheduling page, when a meeting can be scheduled. You can even select a minimum notice time. I need at least 30 minutes notice before a meeting gets scheduled. This way I can prepare and make sure I'm using best use of my time for that lead, customer, or prospect. And the start time increment is 15 minutes. Now you can see that my meeting page is starting to take shape and I can select next is automation. This means I can send a confirmation email once the meeting has been scheduled. And I always like to send a pre-meeting reminder one hour before the meeting. These powerful and simple automations are just an efficient way for your sales team to use their time so they don't have to take on these mundane tasks of scheduling meetings. Now my custom meeting page is ready. All I need to do is send the link to my leads, prospects, and customers, and they can find a time that works for them, and I just show up. 
Now you've got your lead set up in your CRM. You've got meetings being scheduled automatically. Let me show you how easy it is to manage your deals with HubSpot's sales pipeline. To get started, scroll up top to sales and select deals. So in your deal pipeline, there's a lot of information and it's easy to use in a very simple format. You can quickly see the total deal amount, the weighted deal amount, the open deal amount, how much is closed one, how much is new deals, and the average deal age. You can even filter your board by selecting the deal owner, the date these deals were created, or the last activity date. It's also really helpful for sales managers to look at a deal pipeline and quickly look at the bottom to see how much money we have in each stage of the sales process. To create a deal, simply click Create Deal and enter the necessary information. Go ahead and select which pipeline you'd like to associate it with, what deal stage it's in, the amount, the date you'd like to close. It will automatically defer to the end of the current month, but I'll go ahead and say that we're going to give ourselves an extra week. Select the deal owner from your team, deal type, new business or existing business, the priority. You can even associate the deal with one of your contacts and a company. And if you use our quotes and line items, you can even add items to the deal right from here. I'm going to go ahead and click create and you'll notice that deal is automatically going to populate right here in a deal card. Again, I can see all this information about the contact that is associated with this deal, any companies associated with this deal, and any other pertinent information for this deal. When I go back to my deal pipeline now, I can see that my Charlie Brown deal is right here in the qualified to buy stage. If at any point I'm ready to move that deal to the next stage, I can simply drag and drop it into the next stage and you'll see that the total automatically up. I gave a great presentation to Charlie Brown. He's now brought in his decision maker and we moved on to the next stage and now I'm ready to send him a contract and you can see how easy it is to manage deals in the deal pipeline in HubSpot. Now that you've got deals in your pipelines, it's time to check in to see how the sales team is performing. Let's take a look at how sales reports and dashboards are easy to create right inside HubSpot. To get started, scroll up to the top and select reporting. Here you can select dashboards or reports. Dashboards are a collection of reports in one simple place. Reports are individual reports. Now I've already set up a sales dashboard. You can see that all of these reports are customizable. I can even drag and drop and move them wherever I want and even resize them if I need to. But all of these reports are pulling real-time data from my CRM and my deal pipeline. You can take a look at reports like team activities by date, deal revenue forecast by stages, team activity goals, contracts created and worked totals, and a bevy of other sales reports. If at any point you want to create your own report, you can simply go up to add report and click create report. Here we can see I have a whole library that I can report from. I'm going to go ahead and select on a single object on deals. If you'd like to create your own report, it's as simple as clicking add report and we'll go ahead and create a report. Now I'm going to show you how HubSpot AI will create reports for you in seconds. Simply click AI assistant, create a report of deals created in the last 90 days and click generate. Now we'll see HubSpot AI will pull all that data from my CRM and my deal pipelines and create a very helpful report for me and my sales team. Now, if at any point you want to add some more reports to your sales dashboard, simply go up top to reporting, click reports and click sales. Here we can see there's a whole library of reports for the sales teams. You can simply select which one you want. And these are all customizable with the click of a button. You can even customize any of these reports at any time by selecting the filters and clicking the drop down menu. When you're ready to add this report, you can click update existing report and you'll even get the opportunity to add it to a dashboard. HubSpot even gives you additional sales analytics. Simply click sales, scroll down to sales analytics, and you'll be brought to a page with all of your reports in another simple place. Here we can see the deals that were created in this last month. As you can see, Sales Hub has everything your sales team needs and more all in one simple place. As your business grows, HubSpot is built to grow with you. That's why we're the leading choice among small business, mid-market, and enterprise customers. Click the link in the description below to sign up for Sales Hub Starter today day or check out our starter customer platform bundle. It includes sales hub starter, marketing hub starter, service hub starter, and so much more to help you grow your business faster. As a note, HubSpot works to make updates to our customer platform every single day. We're even updating our navigation bar and beta testing with users as we speak. I'm Mark from HubSpot. Thanks for watching.